All right, Matt Damon needs to take a clue. Get a clue? Nobody takes a clue. What the fuck does that even mean? Jesus Christ, we're like three seconds in. I swear, this is one of the dumbest videos I've seen in a long time. It is fucking retarded. Dripping with autism. Mate, we're talking raging torrent levels of autism. I don't even know where it's coming from. God knows where this autism's coming out of. Given the sheer volume of autism coming from this woman's body, I suspect we're dealing with multiple exit points. Just spewing out of everywhere. I'm afraid we're looking at a major autism attack. It's cringe as fuck. It's embarrassing to hear. All that and more in just a minute. But first, I'm going to tell you about this video's sponsor, Virtual Shield VPN. I've been using the service for a couple of months now. If you're looking for a good VPN, they're definitely worth checking out. They'll do all the usual masking of your IP address so you can browse the web anonymously, but they've also got an unrestricted streaming service that allows you to watch American content on sites like Netflix, Hulu and HBO Go from anywhere in the world. Virtual Shield's Identity Safe program is all about protecting your privacy. It blocks hackers from accessing your microphone and webcam. Because we've got more devices with cameras around us nowadays, webcam blackmail is on the rise. That's where some shifty prick gets some footage of you in the shower, or worse, then threatens to release it unless you cough up. What a nightmare. <laughs> Protect yourself and your family online with Virtual Shield, the world's most user-friendly VPN. You can even buy a Virtual Shield gift card on their website and have it mailed on your behalf. Links are in the description. He needs to read the room and take a freaking hint about what is going on with this Me Too movement. I'm sorry? About what's going on with what? This Me Too movement. She sounds like she's trying to say this Me Too movement. While shit faced. There's Me Too movement. There's Me Too movement. So she's referring to Matt Damon here. First, she said he needs to take a clue. Matt Damon needs to take a clue. And now she's saying he needs to take a hint about. There's Me Too movement. So we should all be on the same page now. Let us continue. Because he keeps digging himself into a deeper and deeper hole. Now, last week he said, uh, talking about different, you know, sexual assaults and harassment allegations, he said that there's a difference between, you know, patting someone on the butt and rape or child molestation, right? Right. Both of these behaviors need to be confronted and eradicated without question, but they shouldn't be conflated, right? Right. Now, many people are giving Matt a, a lot of flack for this comment, uh, rightfully so, right? Because this is not, uh, we, are, we don't want to diminish the women who have come forward about different things and the courage that it takes for them to come forward about, you know, different aspects on the spectrum of sexual harassment and sexual assault and sexual abuse and things like that. Getting raped is worse than getting patted on the butt. Acknowledging that fact isn't diminishing survivors of getting patted on the butt. Getting stabbed is worse than getting a Chinese arm burn. Acknowledging that fact isn't diminishing survivors of Chinese arm burn. You would have made a really shit triage nurse. Um, and so that's kind of what he's doing, especially as a powerful man, hmm. to come forward and say that. I think that's uh, very, very problematic. Oh, the powerful man making reality-based observations is problematic. Hey, Tinkerbell, without diminishing anyone, which of the following would you say is worse? A woman getting raped? or a powerful man getting patted on the butt. And a lot of people called him out for this. Well, a lot of people are fucking idiots. And he didn't get the hint. The hint was fucking retarded. And then this week made another comment. He said, we're in this watershed moment and it's great. But I think one thing that's not being talked about is there are a whole shitload of guys, the preponderance of men I've worked with, who don't do this kind of things and whose lives aren't going to be affected. <sighs> And then he said, if I have to sh sign a sexual harassment thing, I don't care, I'll sign it. I would have signed it before. I don't do that. And most of the people I don't, I know, don't do that. All right, so let's just uh, go bit by bit. Okay. First of all, we're not going to congratulate men for not sexually harassing people. I don't think he was suggesting that men should be congratulated for not sexually harassing people. Ever since the Harvey Weinstein thing broke and hashtag Me Too became a thing, media attention on the Hollywood scene is largely centred around the latest allegations and ongoing scandals. This broad so fixated on the topic that she reads a statement like, there's lots of guys who don't do this kind of thing, they're not being talked about, and responds with, we're not going to congratulate men for not sexually 
sexually harassing people. Well, you could always talk about their movies or their latest project. There are other things to talk about besides whether or not somebody is a rapist. We're not gonna be like, oh my God, thank God you did the okay thing. just lift you up even more. What? You were just making a complete cunt of yourself. What? You misunderstood what somebody said. What? Show's going as smoothly as always. Like, oh, you didn't commit abuse? You're a rock star. Like, how are we living in a world where that's what we want to applaud men for? Right. Do you know what I mean? Right. That's absurd. Right. I think it's we're in this watershed moment, and mm -hmm. I think it's great, and I think it's wonderful that women who who uh, are feeling empowered to tell their stories and and it's totally necessary i mean matt damon um, needs to you know, take a i think clue. there's I, I do believe that that there's a spectrum of behavior right and mm -hmm. and we're gonna have to figure out like what you know there's a there's a difference between you know patting someone on the butt and rape or child molestation. You don't right? want to diminish Both of those the behaviors need forward. to be confronted and eradicated without question, but, but yeah. they shouldn't be conflated. When you see Al Franken taking a picture where he's putting his hands on the, that mm -hmm. woman's flak jacket and, mm -hmm. and mugging for the camera, going like that, you know, that is a, like a, just a terrible joke I and it's not funny and it's wrong, uh, you should have done that. And um, I mean, Gail Collins said in the New York Times, the caption of that picture should have just read, I, I'm a comedian who's never going to run for Senate for the Senate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but when you talk about Harvey and oh what 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 is he's accused of, there are no pictures of that, right? Mm -hmm. He knew he was up to no good. Mm -hmm. There's no there's no witnesses. There's no pic. There's no you know. There's no braggadocio. There's no, th that that stuff happened secretly mm -hmm. because it was criminal and he knew it, mm -hmm. right? And so there there is they don't belong in the same category. Uh, we're so energized to kind of get retribution, I think, and we, we live in this culture of outrage and injury and, you know, that, that we're going to have to correct enough to kind of go, well, wait a minute, none of us came here perfect, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. what's the point of us being here other than mm -hmm. to improve? And if, if we have people within us, within the society, like, you know, the Louis C.K. thing, like, I, 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 don't, I don't know all the details. I don't d do deep dives on this, mm -hmm. but I did see his statement. He pulled his knob out and started having a wank in front of two women who he invited up to his hotel room after the bar had closed. It's like they want you to translate it for them, you know. Listen, look, forget the, forget the, the, code, the code that has worked for generations. Let's just get straight to the point. I want to fuck you. Oh, hand there. Uh, uh, I want to fuck you, and I want to fuck you. Do you want to come up to my hotel room so that I can fuck you? You know, so that I can stick my penis inside you. Uh, let's say it's a woman, right? Uh, and let's say it's Mariah Carey. Mm-hmm. Let's say it's Mariah Carey, and she goes, Hey, the bar's closed now. Would you like to come up to my hotel room? And I, a fucking dumbo, think, Oh, sure, I would like to go up to your hotel room to discuss business. Oh, Jesus, right? So I go up to a hotel room and she pulls out her fanny and starts flicking away at her bean. If I don't want to see that shit, I'm going to go, whoa, 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 Maria, listen, I love your music, right? But I'm not, I did not come up here for this. I'm sorry. I've got to go. That's what I'm going to say. So I hold women to the same standard. And if a woman is sitting there and a man pulls his cock out and starts fucking wanking, she should either go, whoa, <laughs> I'm out of here, or this is interesting. Women have this thing, I know this is going to shock a lot of people, especially feminists like that cunt, Lacey Green, um, but um, women have agency. I know, I know. <laughs> it's, it's shocking, isn't it? And I, 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 see, when I found this out, I was shocked, because I thought they were unaccountable toddlers. When he came out and he said, I did this. He said, I did these things. Mm -hmm. These women are all telling the truth. Mm -hmm. And I just remember thinking, well, that's the sign of somebody who, well, we can work with that. You know what I mean? Like, that's, you know, what the hell else are you supposed to do? Oh, my goodness. A big thanks to Virtual Shield for sponsoring this video, and thanks to Goodfella for the input on Louis C.K. I hope everyone has a great Christmas, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Cheerio. Recession, session, session.